why does a narcissist win? Seems like they always win, right? Why does a narcissist win? If you guys are new here, my name is Ben Taylor, the founder of Raw Motivations, the creator of the NARC app, and your guide in the 45-day Clarity Challenge that you can access at claritychallenge.net. If you like what you see here about narcissism or about narcissistic abuse or some of my story about narcissism, please subscribe. Hit the notifications so you get notified when we drop new content daily or when we go live uh, throughout the week. We'd love to be able to interact with you and to help provide awareness, growth, healing, and change on your journey to find healing. Well, when you're dealing with a narcissist, it seems like they always win. It seems like they walk away from the situation unscathed and you're left struggling. You're left hurt. You're left picking up the pieces. You're left going to therapy, getting into groups. You're left working on yourself and they just seem like they get off scot-free. Well, I want to talk to you today of why narcissists win. I want to challenge you on your definition of winning. And I want to ask you a tough question. So when we're talking about narcissists winning, it's typically because that aspect that they just move on. And it's easy for them to move on. It's easy for them to transition to a new person, to a new life, to completely transform, put on a new mask, become a different person, because in all reality, they don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care about the things that they've done or that they've been through in regards to you. It's just moving on, thinking, what's next? Either, what's the next person that I can be with to fulfill me? What's the next person I can be with that's going to love me correctly, that's actually going to connect with me, that's actually going to care? That I'm just a victim because everybody's been crazy in my past. Whatever it is, the narcissist ends up not caring about you and moves on to the next person. Well, in that aspect, it feels like they win. Because you're the one that has to heal. You're the one that has to get fixed. You're the one that has to put in the time, money, and energy to work on yourself. Understanding that the narcissist doesn't care about you is one of the biggest pieces that people need to understand. The relationship's not about you. It's never been about you. It's always been about them. What they want, what they think, how they respond, all those things. So it's easy for a narcissist to move on and to not feel anything because they don't care. It's like the idea of a new appliance. I've mentioned many times that narcissists view you as a toaster. The toaster breaks, go get a new toaster. That's the thought process. Nothing to lose for a narcissist makes them really dangerous. Like if they don't have anything to lose, no ties to you, no ties to anything, that makes them really dangerous and out of control. And as a result, they just move on. Like don't feel the pain, don't really care. I just win at moving on because I can move on, just leave you in the dust, okay? The thing that you need to understand is with their winning, there is also an aspect that they're not going to be vulnerable. They're not going to be open to who they are, to what has happened, to what's transpired, to what they've done, and as a result, they can't change. You see, if a narcissist is not willing to be vulnerable or open, if a person on this planet is not willing to be open and vulnerable, there's not really an aspect of change. As a result, a narcissist cannot tap into true joy. Narcissists cannot tap into true love. Narcissists cannot tap into different things that are deep inside because a lot of it is very surface level. Insecurities, hiding from shame, running from guilt, all these different pieces. And until a narcissist is willing to be vulnerable, honest, and consistently work on that change, there's no hope for that change. A lot of people don't wanna hear that, but you need to understand, does that actually sound like winning? To never grow, to never change, to always be hiding, always have this insecurity, always running from shame and guilt, hiding behind the mask, not being true to who they are, doesn't let them actually win. Does that sound like winning? Because the question I would propose to you is like, what is your definition of winning? So many times people look at the narcissist and they look at the situation and they're like, they're winning and I'm not. Well, I need you to understand a couple things when we talk about winning. One, a lot of times you can't win with some type of failure, sometimes loss, sometimes pain, to find what's on the other side, to find the joy, to find happiness, to find connection. 
Every single person out there who's been successful at any aspect of life is only successful because of the amount of failures that they had and that they kept moving forward. A lot of times people, when they've been with a narcissist, stop moving forward because they feel frozen in time, not knowing who they are or what they're supposed to do. That's okay, but we want to be able to help people transition from that to growth, to healing, to change. A lot of times you can't win without vulnerability. Change is impossible without vulnerability. I'm a firm, firm believer that change is not capable for anybody out there if it doesn't come with vulnerability. If you can't look at your life and say, this is where I am, then you also can't build a map to get over here of where you want to go. That only happens with vulnerability. That only happens with honesty. But change can't happen without vulnerability. Also, I would say you can't win without joy. Now, part of this is the aspect of like, if you think winning is going to look or feel a certain way and you get there and you realize, wait a second, I don't feel fulfilled and I don't have any joy in this area, is that actually winning? Right now, one of the problems is if you, if you clicked on this video and you're, and you're listening to this podcast, you're like, wait a second, why do they always win? And that's a question that you've struggled with. I want you to understand the reason why you don't have joy in your life right now is because of comparison. Because comparing yourself to that toxic person is the thief of joy. Comparison is the thief of joy. What do you actually want? Are you actually clear on who you are, the direction you want to go, your purpose, your vision, your values? Because a lot of times people are not clear and all they do is they compare themselves to other people and they wonder why they're not fulfilled. Because they're not moving in a way that is actually helping fulfill them and give them joy because they're winning at what they're pursuing. They're winning at the direction that they want to go, that they need to go, that they understand. So what is your definition of winning? What does that actually look like for you? And it comes down to sometimes the idea of like, what do I actually want? Do you actually know what you want? Some of these are hard questions to be able to work through, to understand, to sit down, to process, to journal. Some of these are bits and pieces of questions that we ask inside the 45 day challenge to help people understand like who you actually are. So what's your definition of winning? You can't win without some failure. You can't win without vulnerability and you can't win without joy. Those are three things that I think are very true and essential when we talk about winning. Write down what your definition of winning actually is. Maybe even comment it below. Help other people see their definition of winning might be completely different. And that's okay. But do you know what your definition of winning actually is? Okay, so last last thing that I wanted to touch on out of the three things that I mentioned was the tough question. The tough question that I want to be able to propose to you today is not about them. Not about what they've done, not about why them, not about all these different things, not about why so, because it's not about them at all. You see, as we go through this healing process, we start to switch our focus from learning and understanding so much about narcissism to now we have to learn and start to understand about you, to develop who you are. And oftentimes that's the problem is people are so focused on the narcissist. They're so focused on the toxicity. And that's great to be able to understand it and know it. But then that has to change. That focus can't stay forever. Maybe you're just learning about narcissism. You're like, I'm scared I'm going to get locked in this forever. You're not. But you do drink from the fire hydrant of narcissism for a period of time to understand it. And then that focus has to change back on you. So the tough question I want to ask you today. Why are you still losing. You see, if we're going to talk about this mindset, and we're going to talk about this from the frame of like, why is the narcissist winning? Then I want to ask you, why are you still losing? And you might be like, hey, that, that's, a, that's a crazy way to put it. Like, why are you like attacking me that way? But I need to understand if your mindset is this way, then we need to actually adjust why. Why are you choosing to lose now? You're like, I'm not choosing. This isn't something that I, you know, I'm choosing at all. No, no, no. I'm not saying what cho- what choice is made to get here. I'm not blaming you for any of that. I'm saying why now are you choosing to lose? Why are you choosing to give a toxic person space in your mind? Why are you choosing to put negative thinking and beating yourself down on a day-to-day basis thinking that they're winning and you're losing? 
Why are you choosing to focus on them versus on you? You see, each day we have a choice. Each day, every single person has a choice of what they're going to do, how they're going to live, and what they're going to choose. You have a choice. You have a choice today. You have a choice every single day of are you going to be pursuing that winning or are you going to be staying in the losing? Sometimes we'll refer to it uh, as a victim or a victor mindset of how you're actually progressing, how you're actually going forward with your life. Are you choosing that losing mindset or are you saying, hey, regardless of what happened in my life, I am going to win and I'm going to define it by this and I'm going to move forward towards this direction every single day. So I'm asking you today to make a choice, to choose you. Will you actually choose you and start working on developing you? Some of you already are, and some of you are pretending that you are, and some of you are learning stuff to try to figure out if you are or not. But at the end of the day, some people are just lying and hiding under the fact that this happened to me. It did, 100%. Own it and understand this happened. Radical acceptance. But then now, as you sit here, do you have that thought, does the narcissist always win? Well, the question is, why do you still keep losing? You can grow, you can change, you can develop more than you know. Oftentimes when I'm talking to clients and working with people one-on-one, I want to establish a baseline of you're not crazy, you're not alone, you're not hopeless. You can accomplish more than what you'd ever dream you can accomplish. But you first need to be true about you and you need to change that perspective to rewire your mindset to move forward to grow, heal, develop, and change love to be able to talk with you and help you in that process. Some of this stuff is what I talk to people about on a day-to-day basis, trying to help guide them to rewiring their mindset, to reduce the space and eradicate the space for that toxic person in their mind, to help put them in a place with the positive thinking, not just positive affirmations, but changing the mindset, rewiring the mindset from the negative way to actually being a positive buildup of this is how I'm growing and developing and to choose to focus on you and your development versus another person. If you'd like to talk more, if you'd like to interact, you can go to realmmotivations.com, click on one-on-ones, would love to help you and be a part of your healing growth, change, and development.